We want to take a look at surface area now for some geometric objects. Let's go to the board and look at our first problem. Here I have a cube and it's 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So I want to find the surface area of this cube. And so what I'm going to do is first find the area of one of the faces here, which should be 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So that's 4 times 4 for the area of that. And then I'll just multiply by the number of those faces that I have. So I have this face, that's 1. The other side is 2. The top is 3. The bottom is 4. That side's 5. And the other side is 6. So I'll take the area of each of the faces, multiply by the number of faces I have, and that will be the surface area that's uh, for this geometric figure right here. So 6 times 16. I'll multiply 6 times 6 and get 36, carry the 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 96, and here I have centimeters squared. So that uh, cube that's 4 centimeters on each side will have a total surface area of 96 square centimeters. Next we want to look at the surface area of a cylinder. Our cylinder has a radius of 2 feet for the base and it has a height of 8 feet. And we're going to assume that this cylinder is closed at the top and also at the bottom. So when I find the total surface area here, I want the surface area around the outside plus the surface area of the top and the surface area of the bottom. Now to begin, I can say, well, I want to find the surface area around the outside of this. One way to look at it is to say, okay, what's the circumference of this circle right here? The circumference of that circle will be 2 pi times the radius, which is 2. That's the circumference of that circle. Then I'm going to take that circle and slide it up 8 feet and keep track of the amount of surface area that's generated when I do that. So I'll take this circumference, slide it through 8 feet, and so I'll have times 8 for the total surface area around the outside here. Circumference of the base times the height. Onto that I want to add the surface area of the bottom here, which will just be pi times the radius 2 squared, pi r squared for the surface area of that circle, and then I have the bottom and also the top, so I want to multiply that by 2. So let's see what we get here for surface area. Um, 2 times 2 is 4, times 8 is 32 pi, plus here I have 2 squared, which is 4, times 2 is 8, pi. And let's see, I can add 32 pi and 8 pi and get 40 pi. Of course, you could just switch to 3.14 here and do that product, that product, add what you get together. Or you can add 32 pi and 8 pi, get 40 pi. That will be approximately 40 times 3.14 when I substitute that decimal for pi. And if I do that multiplication, I end up with 125 0.6, and let's see, my units were feet squared, so it's square feet, 125.6 square feet for the surface area of this cylinder that's closed at the bottom and also at the top. Let's look at another problem where we find the surface area of a sphere. My sphere has a radius of 3.9 inches, and so for the surface area for this, I'm just going to use my formula for the surface area of a sphere, which says that the surface area will always be 4 pi times the radius, <coughs> excuse me, 3.9 squared. So I'm going to substitute now for pi. So I use my approximately equal to pi, which is 3.14 times 3.9 quantity squared. 4 times 3.14 times 3.9 squared. Let's see, I did that on a calculator. That ends up to be 15.21. 15.21. Now multiply 4 times 3.14. That times 15.21. I also did that on a calculator. That ends up to be 191.04 if I round to the nearest hundredth. And let's see, my units were inches, so I'm going to say inches squared or square inches. 
So the surface area of a sphere that has a radius of 3.9 inches is going to be 191.04 square inches. So there we have a look at finding the surface area for three different objects, a cube, a cylinder closed at the top and at the bottom, and also a sphere.